Hi, I'm Dennis Warwood, uh, ex retired USU Extension agent and longtime gardener. And today we're in the high tunnel and we're talking about training and trellising cucumbers. Now, uh, the first thing I'd say about cucumbers is you don't necessarily need to trellis them. If I were planting outside, I would just plant them and let nature take its course and the plants would do fine. But here in the high tunnel, where we've got some expense involved in creating the structure, then we want to take advantage of all of the space, both horizontally and vertically. So we've got a row of cucumbers here and we're going to train them up strings. Now to secure the strings for the cucumbers, overhead we have a PVC that we've tied the strings to. And then at the base, I've used uh, just little pieces of scrap PVC and they don't need to be this long but I just drilled a hole in one end uh, half an inch or so below the top and that's large enough to admit a piece of baling twine and then I went to a farmer's stack yard and got uh, a bunch of used uh, baling twine strung it through uh, these pegs along the bottom and they don't need to be close they're probably every 15 feet or so and then these strings are tied at the base to the baling twine and at the top to the PVC and that'll secure it. So uh, with the cucumbers when you're training them uh, to go up a string like this you'll need some way to secure them to the string and we're using these clips which are tomato clips and uh, they have right at the hinge they have some little ears that clamp onto the string and then uh, they snap around the plant like so and uh, hold it without damaging the plant and we'll put a clip probably oh every every six to eight inches up the plant and that will support the plant as it goes up now uh, with training cucumbers these are going to be trained to a single stem and so we're going to take a closer look at one of the plants and we'll show you how we do that all right, these cucumber plants we're working on today are about uh, four weeks old probably. They were planted in April. It's now early June and they're just reaching a height where they're ready to be trained onto the strings. Now to train these, I'm going to be paying attention to the nodes and that's the places where the leaf is attached to the plant. And so at every node you'll have two or three structures that we need to be concerned about. One is a sucker which is an entirely different stem and if we were just letting these grow outside uh, these would take off and, and would uh, form blossoms of their own and uh, would you'd have multiple stems for each plant. On this these plants we want to uh, restrict the number of, of stems so that we can kind of keep them under control. And I would say also that these plants are about 16 inches apart. Here in the high tunnel I, I generally plant cucumbers every 12 to 16 inches. And so to train these I'm going to begin by removing everything that's growing in the node. So I take off uh, the sucker and then you'll see there's a little fruit. It's not uh, the blossom will be right here but I'll remove them and then uh, I'll do that at every node. So there's a fruit there's a sucker. Up here we have a fruit and then a tendril. You can either take the tendril off or leave it attached. It doesn't matter. Here we have two fruits at least. In some, some varieties you'll have multiple fruits per node. You'd remove them. I will do that until the plant gets about knee high. So uh, Initially, I'm taking all of those things off and I'm removing even the fruit because I want the plant to direct its energy into growing foliage and uh, stem. So once I've removed them on this little plant, then I'm going to attach it to the string with this clip. So I put it on the string so that the little clasps in the hinge there catch the string and it goes around the string just like that. And as it grows I will just add more clips. So when the plant gets about knee high then my pruning changes a little bit. I will still remove the suckers but I will leave the fruit. So once the plant is about knee high 
it's safe to go ahead and allow it to start producing fruit. And from knee high up to about uh, right below your sternum, I don't know the exact height, but about this high, I would just leave the fruit at each node and then you could be harvesting them. Once the plant gets to this height, then I, my pruning changes again. And what will happen then is I will leave the suckers. And I will let each sucker grow out two nodes, so in other words, two leaves. And then I will pinch the end of it off so it doesn't get any longer. So the main stem of the plant will continue up, but once it reaches about this height, then I'll have uh, suckers coming out that'll be two nodes long. And at each of those nodes, they will have fruit. So I have fruit on the original stem, plus two sets of fruit on each of these abbreviated suckers that I'm allowing to grow. And then it will continue up. And once it gets to the top, you can loop it over the top of the trellis and it will continue the same thing going down. So that's how uh, I train cucumbers here in the high tunnel to a string. Now, again, you don't need to train cucumbers if you're planting them outside. Uh, you can just let them run. Uh, one thing about growing them here in the high tunnel, I make sure that I use varieties that are not bush varieties because I want a plant that's going to be very, fairly large. Um, and I, I try to plant a mixture of pickling types and slicer, so I'll have some that will be quite long and some that will be uh, more for pickles. But you can harvest a tremendous amount of cucumbers off of one row, and when this is larger, what you'll see looking down it is just a solid uh, row of green. It'll be like a wall. And uh, one advantage, a couple of advantages of training them up a trellis is one, on the longer cucumbers they will be straighter than if you let them lay on the ground. Uh, that's an aesthetic thing, but it, it does make them nice and straight. The other thing that it does is uh, makes them more uniformly colored. So if a cucumber or any cucurbit, like a, a melon or whatever, uh, sits on the ground, typically you have that ground spot where it's lighter colored, um, where it's contacting the ground. When you put them up in the air like this, then they'll tend to be green all the way around. And it'll produce a straight, very attractive fruit. And uh, this is a good way to grow cucumbers. If you're wanting to trellis them, this is one method that you can use. Or if you're in a high tunnel, it's certainly very effective. Would you say that it in increases your yield? Or is the yield about the same as if you didn't trellis them? Uh, I don't know if this has a how the, the yield would compare because I am limiting the number of stems but uh, there's a tremendous amount of vigor in these plants when all of the growth is directed into one stem and I remember uh, the first year I did this I took a photo of maybe about that much of a stem and there were seven fruits in that distance so you can get a, a, quite a yield that was a slicing variety some of the pickling varieties, you'll have multiple fruits at every node. So you could have anywhere from two to four fruits every place a leaf comes off. And in the, under those situations, you've got a, a huge yield.